everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a really soft and cozy macrame pillow cover. Welcome back to my channel again today guys. Thank you so much for popping in to see what DIYs I am up to today. Recently I got sent some gorgeous, huge, squishy yarn from a little company called Top Knot Style and they're actually based out of near where I live and I've wanted to try this yarn for such a long time. It's a vegan roving sort of yarn and it's so big and squishy and soft and I could think of all sorts of applications for this yarn. Originally I wanted to make a knit pillow cover and then I just started playing around with this yarn and I've been kind of into macrame lately. So one thing led to another and I made a macrame pillow cover out of this yarn. So it's not like your typical cotton rope macrame that you might have seen lately or you might remember the table runner that I made a little while ago out of some cotton clothesline. This is macrame as well, but it's really soft and really fluffy, so more of a cuddly kind of pillow. And I thought this could be perfect for holiday decor for Christmas or even for a present for somebody this holiday season. I'm going to show you how to make this macrame pillow cover and also make sure to check out my Instagram account this week. I am going to be giving away 10 skeins of this beautiful top knot style yarn. So you're definitely going to want to enter that contest if you love to work with beautiful textiles like this, whether you like to macrame or knit or crochet, this is really beautiful to work with. So head on over to my Instagram account. I'm at the DIY mommy there and look for this photo up here. And when you see this photo, you will see what you need to do to enter this contest. Let me now show you how to make this macrame pillow cover. To begin, you're going to need a whole lot of really chunky roving yarn. I'm using Top Knot Styles Vegan Roving Yarn, and you're going to need to cut it five times as long as you want the length of your pillow to be. So my pillow is going to be 20 inches long, so I cut these strips into 100 inch lengths, and I just kind of wove my back and forth to make sure I had enough and then cut the loops on the bottom and then you're going to need enough yarn so that when you lay all your strips side by side it's about half as wide as you want your pillow to be so I had about 20 strips. Next you're going to use a lark's head knot to attach all of these yarn strips to something hanging on your wall so I had this cage art I used. I've used a curtain rod in the past or you can use an actual macrame hanger. Next I cut a piece that was as wide as my work, a little bit wider, and then I used a half hitch. So I took the yarn behind this piece and I pulled it up and around to create a half hitch. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to a fabulous video on all of these macrame knots and they do a really good job with really large yarn to show you what a lark's head knot is and a half hitch knot is. I'm only going to use one more knot and it's called a square knot. So if you can learn these three different types of knots, you can make this pillow. So I'm just using this half hitch. So I'm taking the yarn behind this strip, wrapping it up and around and back. And I'm doing this all the way across the top of my pillow cover. And then I just kind of pull on things to make everything look nice and even. Next up I am going to do a square knot so I take the four strands at the side and then I take the right one and I fold it in a backwards L and the left one another L and backwards and through and then I do the exact mirror opposite to create this square knot. Again please check out that link in the description box below if you want to learn how to do a nice square knot. So I'm going to do these square knots all the way across my piece again and I'm leaving approximately Approximately an inch above this row just so there's a little space in my work and this is going to create kind of this really pretty lacy diamond pattern that I'm going for. For the next row I'm leaving the first two strands bare and then I'm taking the next four strands and doing some more square knots all the way across my work. So staggering the square knots like this again this is going to create my nice airy diamond pattern for my macrame pillow. Again, I'm also leaving about an inch between my rows here to have some space in my work. 
If you're using roving yarn like me, just make sure not to pull on it too tight because it is rather fragile. It's not like cotton rope, so just make sure to pull firmly but not too hard because you don't want the roving yarn to break. If it does, you can just kind of knot it together and you don't really see it if you kind of push the knot behind your work. So just continue on in this pattern, alternating and staggering these square knots until your piece measures almost the length of your pillow. And then you're going to do another row of that half hitch again. So I cut a piece that was as wide as my work, a little bit wider on the ends to leave a fringe. And then I took my yarn and wrapped it around this piece and made my half hitch knots. So I did this all the way across. Once I finished, I just simply knotted all of the fringed ends together so that everything didn't come apart. So I'm just doing a half square knot here to tie every second piece together. Then I cut everything off of my cage art here so that I could release my pillow cover from the hanger. And as I cut, I did knot this fringe as well. I started knotting it up on the wall and then I took my piece down and I finished knotting all the fringes on the floor. So here I'm just knotting every second piece together and this just secures my work so it doesn't unravel. Next, you're just going to trim the fringes to make sure everything is nice and even. And you can get your six-year-old to help you trim the fringes as well. And then take a pillow cover, so whether it's pre-made or you made one yourself, I like to actually leave the insert in to do this because it's easier just to kind of make sure everything is nice and even and tight. And then just place your macrame piece right on top of the pillow cover that you made. I'll leave a link in the description box below to some tutorials on pillow covers that I've made. And then just take a needle and thread and hand stitch that macrame piece right to the top of your pillow cover. So I am actually just taking my thread and wrapping it right around the side yarn pieces of my macrame piece and then I'm just putting it right into the side seams of my pillow. Once you get all the way around the pillow to the end, just make sure to do a nice secure knot at the end so that your work is nice and secure. I would probably use a plain colored pillow, however I just had this diamond pattern pillow on hand and I used it and I thought it worked out well because the pattern was quite subtle. And that is it. That is how to make a very simple but cozy and beautiful macrame pillow cover. I think this would make a really unique gift and I think it's going to be perfect for our Christmas decor for the holidays. I love that it follows this macrame trend that we have but it's something a little bit different because it's a softer and cozier version of macrame. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial today. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried macrame or if you would try this macrame pillow. I loved it. It was relatively quick and easy and I think it's going to look beautiful in my Christmas decor this year. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.